Hey bro chicas, I hope everybody is having a lovely day. It's Saturday when I'm filming this and it is just so gorgeous. It's 75 degrees. I just wanna sit outside all day. Whew. So since it's so beautiful, I was like, you know, I'm gonna film the intro to this video outside and enjoy the weather a bit. But I am going to film for you guys a keto grocery haul. I did the, we bought the groceries yesterday, so I'm not gonna like put them all out on the table or anything like that. It's basically gonna be like looking inside of my fridge and looking inside of my pantry type deal. So this is what I usually do. I haven't done a keto grocery haul in quite a while though, so I figured it would be helpful. And I got a bunch of new things that I normally don't buy, so I'm really excited. I've just been craving lots of vegetables lately i just want more vegetables in my diet so i have a few new meal ideas that i haven't tried yet and i'm really excited for it hopefully i will film them i do want to try to film it tonight we'll see we'll see how it goes but so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing what i bought this week for groceries and meals and all that uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content like this and let's just get straight into what's in my fridge. fridge. So this is obvious. I start, I'm just going to start off with this. I get this every single week, but I used to actually not need such a big one, but lately I've been having keto lattes, so I've been using this a lot. I get the Silk Almond Unsweetened Vanilla, so it's 30 calories for one cup, and I believe only one carb, or maybe even less than a carb because of that fiber, uh, for one cup, and it's really, really delicious in my keto lattes. We always get a whip, so this is the one from last week we're finishing up, and this is the new one. And I've been recently getting strawberries because my kids love them, so I get this huge, like, two-pounder. Um, I've been getting them for the past two weeks just because I'm enjoying having a few strawberries here and there. Uh, this is one of the berries that is safe on keto. Obviously, you shouldn't have them like every single day if you're trying to lose weight, but I definitely love to have them like on the weekends. They are so fresh and delicious. And since the weather is getting nice, it makes me crave fruit. And yeah, so I got that. I also picked up two of these sugar-free jello packs my husband really enjoys these and I, this is such a throwback for me because i used to have these a year ago when i was on keto and i put whipped cream on top of it and it's a really nice fresh dessert so there's only five calories per container and i believe one carb so it's a really good really good dessert or midday sweet snack if you want something sweet let's look into the veggies i've got a bunch of veggies this week so this week i picked up a red onion and that is because i'm going to be making something special and delicious you guys will have to wait stay tuned for a recipe video or something and i also pick up picked up a cucumber i'm telling you this warm weather is making me feel like i want some fresh veggies and fruit you know so we also got two heads of cauliflower, two big heads of cauliflower. We're actually going to be making a like uh, mac and cheese type deal with the cauliflower. Okay, I took everything out of plastic. It just looks prettier. So yep, we got some zucchini here. I have even more vegetables over here. I picked up two little, do you call it a bushel? of radishes so i'm making a really exciting recipe with these radishes because i've seen keto people use this as a replacement of potato so stay tuned guys but i got two bushels of those i've never like cooked with radishes ever but they're really really cute and pretty and they look like little red potatoes i also got a bundle of brussels sprouts we've been really enjoying brussels sprouts like crisped up in the oven it's so good and i also got some little baby what do you call them grape tomatoes because i'm telling you i don't know what it is i'm just craving fruits and vegetables like i don't know so I got those, which I've been making. I've been putting those in my omelets and stuff. Uh, this is some more squash. So I got the zucchini over there I just showed you. And then I got this yellow squash that's going to go into a recipe. It's basically going to be like a Mexican skillet. Shout out to Goody Beats because I got this recipe idea from him where he made like a Mexican skillet with zucchini squash, yellow squash, and ground beef. So that's what that's for. 
in the lens. I also picked up an avocado. I only got one since I have so many other things, you know, I don't want it to go bad. So I just got one. If I need more throughout the week, I will get it. And I picked up some mushrooms. I like to put these in my omelets and I haven't been doing it this time around. So I was like, you know, I miss mushrooms. I'm gonna pick them up. So I got those. Now we're going into the, I call it the deli drawer. We picked up another block of cream cheese. I'm going to be making a cheesecake with that. Um, I made one for the first time last weekend and it was like bomb. You gotta try it. We also picked up this triple cheddar mixture and this Italian uh, five cheese mixture and that is going to be for the cauliflower mac and cheese. We stay having these huge packs of mozzarella. So this is the new one. This is the one from last week and that is because if we're like freaking out and we need to have something that we feel like you know like pizza like breadsticks like we have to have all this cheese here and cream cheese for the making of fathead dough because sometimes you know you just have these cravings and it makes you want to cheat but you know we don't want to cheat so i always need this on hand with cream cheese and i can make fathead dough if i'm ever feeling like i need something or if we ran out of our meal preps and we need to make something quick we always make a pizza we always have like pepperoni stashed in here so uh this is from last week that's just so salami but this week i got some bacon bits because i'm thinking of putting that on top of the mac and cheese that we're making or it's just really good if you want to make a cob salad it's quick and easy just put some boiled eggs avocado and this on your salad with some dressing and you're good to go and this is a meal that I'm going to make tonight for us. And I got these Applegate Natural Uncured Beef Hot Dogs. So 100% grass-fed. So I'm not a perfect ketoer. I don't have grass-fed beef all the time. But I was like, I will get this one. It had a coupon. And obviously it's better than regular hot dogs. And as you can see, there are zero carbs and zero sugars. So that's really, really cool. What I'm going to be making is kind of, what do you call them? pigs in a blanket with fathead dough so that's what I'm gonna try tonight it should be exciting I also picked up this avocado ranch just because I thought it would taste good with the um, little tomatoes or the cucumber and I haven't tried it yet and it looked really delicious but then I looked at the back and it's two carbs per serving I mean it's not that bad it is what it is um, some people might not be cool with it that it has like one sugar in there but that doesn't bother me at all so i picked that up this week i also picked up a backup heavy whipping cream this is so good even if you don't put this in your coffee it's really good to have on hand because you can make a cheesecake with it um it's uh we're going to use it in the cauliflower mac and cheese it's just really good to have on hand for recipes you can make alfredo sauce with garlic and butter and bam you know in a pot you have alfredo sauce oh and parmesan cheese of course but yeah it's really good to have this on hand but of course i use this in my coffee as well as recipes and then for the meat it's kind of hard to see we like to keep our meat in the bags just in case any meat juices leak like that's gross so i always keep them in the bag but we got a huge pork shoulder butt roast bone in because it has the most flavor when you have the bone in so here's what she looks like these were on sale this week and what we like to do with this is make cold pork so we got a 10 pounder i mean it's a lot but the great thing about this is if you made pulled pork with it you can actually freeze it like once it's cooked you can either freeze half of it and make half now or you can cook it all and freeze it and it actually holds really really well you guys and if you use this barbecue sauce i mean it comes out so delicious if you want to make keto bread you could have little pulled pork sandwiches but i even just like it with some sauce on it and i'll just eat it like that pulled pork is so delicious so we got that and we also picked up some chicken thighs i forget how many pounds this is but i don't want to pull it all the way out but we always get chicken thighs it's a really good high fat piece of meat has a lot of flavor you can do so many things with it just like you know put it in the crock pot and put whatever seasonings you like and let it go for five six hours and it's so good so i had organized my fridge for this but i did not organize my freezer so sorry for the appearance but we picked up these jimmy dean fully cooked sausages so yes these probably have like a lot of things in it that are not the best right like they're processed and all that but <clears throat> 
this is, oh, I'm just dropping sausage. This is just so great for when you are just in a rush. You know what I mean? This is good for on the go. It's less than one carb for two patties. They taste really delicious and they're really quick and easy for a breakfast. And I just, I don't like to be super fussy with my breakfast. I would rather spend my energies making my dinner, if that makes sense. So I have been loving these. I've gotten them for the past few weeks. Picked up another one of these G Huge, G Hughes sugar-free ketchups. Um, this is a must-have in my book. This has the best macros, I think, for keto. Five calories per serving, uh, one carb. So really, really good. There's no sugar in it. Oh, it says sucralose right there. It's sucralose. I think that's Splenda, right? Because sucrose is sugar. Sucralose is Splenda. Yeah, so to me, this is the best ketchup for keto. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know why we got another sauce, because we already have two barbecue sauces. Because <laughs> you can never have enough barbecue sauce in this house. Um, I picked up this Rotel. I don't even know the macros on this, because we order our groceries on the app to pick it up on curbside. So let me check it out. So, four grams of fat. I mean, four grams of carbs in half a cup. And there's two and a half servings per container and three sugars. And the sugars is going to come from the tomato, guys. It's like a natural sugar. It's not an added sugar. So that does not bother me. I'm not going to not eat tomatoes because they have a tiny bit of sugar in it. Does that, you know what I mean? So I got the hot version. This is going in the Mexican skillet. Um... My husband picked up some walnuts because he's just been loving these. He actually has this as a dessert. He really, really loves these walnuts. And they're just, I mean, they're not even salted or anything. They're just like plain, raw. So really, really good fat content in these walnuts, guys. I have been really liking almonds, and I really wanted them salty. So I got these last week, and I had to get them again. They're just so delicious. Plus, H-E-B had a coupon on them. So it's the roasted salted almonds. They still have really good fat as well, see, 16 grams, walnuts were 18 grams, two carbs, and this one is also two carbs. And the nuts, they always have one sugar, but it's natural, so nothing to worry about. I also picked up a plain bag of pork rinds. Uh, we are going to use this as a breading for Parmesan crusted chicken, actually, so you can put this in a food processor or a blender and you can use it as breadcrumbs. Just don't cook with it because it kind of gets like soggy and I wouldn't put it over your entire meal. I would just put it per serving because then when you put it away, like the leftovers in the fridge, it gets soggy. So definitely just sprinkle it on each serving if that makes sense. We also got a bag of the Lily's um, dark chocolate chips. My husband already got into them because he likes to eat these for dessert, but these are great to make the keto chocolate chip cookies, or you can even melt these down and make chocolate covered strawberries. I'm just giving you guys ideas here, but this is no sugar added. They use stevia and erythritol in here, and you know I had to get myself a chocolate bar. This is, I have to have this. This is my vice because if I'm too lazy to make a dessert, I don't want to be so angry that I don't have something and I don't want to cheat so I always have this this is my lazy dessert so got the salted almond one this is the one that I've been liking a lot a mess down here so don't mind that but we got another case of the coke zero I know that these are not the best for you I know aspartame is bad I know people's opinions on this but we like to have them on the weekends with our meals we just enjoy it it is what it is for the most part, we're healthy, so that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, sorry, but that's how I live my life, and we're lazy keto, so. I also forgot to show you guys this because I thought it was going to be in the closet, but it was out here because we actually had chorizo and egg tacos this morning. Uh, these are the Carbs and Tortillas. They do have another brand. If you don't have an H-E-B, H -E -B, oh my God, there's another brand that carries, you know, low-carb tortillas. But anyways, these have three carbs per tortilla not bad at all but i don't go ham on these because i don't want to like gain weight so i'll probably have one of these a week i really try to like stay low on these um and my husband really he's allowed to have way more than me because he's got a lot of muscle mass and he burns so many calories throughout the day 
these are mostly for him and then i'll like indulge in one here and there all right guys so that is it for my keto grocery haul today i feel like every time that i film it i'm like is that all we have but it is a lot of food oh you know what i forgot to show you guys we have ground beef in the freezer. We have two pounds of ground beef and I totally forgot to show you guys because it was in a plastic bag. <laughs> so anyways, just know that we also have ground beef. We always get chicken thighs and ground beef every single week and then we'll switch up the third meat or the third and the fourth meat if that makes sense. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gave you some meal ideas. I'm always trying to inspire you guys and give you more meal ideas because I know a lot of people like there's people who love to cook and then there's people who love good cooking but just don't feel like doing the research or thinking about the ideas for dinner i used to be one of those people so i get it i totally understand i have friends who ask me all the time like what do i make i don't know what i want like i don't want to just eat this i don't want to just eat that and i'm always trying to come up with new fun ideas so that my meals never get boring and that i never want to quit keto if that makes sense so i hope that i inspired you guys in some way shape or form and i hope that you enjoyed this video so give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll just see you guys in the next one Bye.